we're making marshmallows. marshmallows. And because I made a bunny peep shirt because I really love marshmallow peeps. Uh, and Easter's this Sunday. And this is my special guest, Derek Shelby Jones. Hi. My name is Lauren Goff. And Derek has been my guest for, what, four weeks straight? I'm new this week. Oh, Derek is new. We're pretending that Derek is new this week. Well, welcome, Derek, to my show. And I'm so happy you could join me today. No problem. And uh, Derek and I know each other from Westside Comedy Theater in Santa Monica. We met there doing improv class. And we also interned there. And... You wouldn't know it, but Derek sometimes is a funny guy. Are you in a bad mood today? No. Oh, okay. Um, Legalize NJ says, hello, thank you for this. And Mike Finney is here and says, happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday, you guys. We made it another week. I don't know about you, but it seems to me like every day is the same day because no day is different. I don't know. How's your quarantine going? How's your quarantine going? What have you been doing to keep yourself entertained? Work. Work? Okay. What Rocket do you do for work? Rocket League. Rocket League. Work in Rocket League. What do you do for work? Uh, things that are very unrelatable to this audience. Okay. Cool. Fun answer. Um, Polish St. Thomas 93 says, love marshmallows. Yes, I also love marshmallows and... Maybe if we have any marshmallows left over next week, we're going to use them in another recipe because I also love s'mores, anything that has to do with s'mores. Derek suggested that we make, how's that taste? Like sugar. Like sugar, cool. Derek suggested that we also make Rice Krispie treats with granola since we don't have Rice Krispie cereal. No, but you've already cereal. done that. I think you got to like well, step out see. of the box a little, you know? Well, what else can we make with marshmallows? I mean, you don't need to do something with marshmallows. Like, I guess you could do something with marshmallows, but like, let's do something savory. We could do something savory. We'll think about it next week. We also need to go grocery shopping desperately. Um, but we didn't go out at all this week because that's what they said, that this was the most crucial week to not go out in Los Angeles. Let's make homemade SpaghettiOs. Interesting. Let's okay. not do that. Let's please not do that. I actually love SpaghettiOs. Gross. But they won't taste good if they're homemade. The only reason they taste so good is because of all the chemicals and preservatives. We're going to get real high for you guys now, and you're going to watch it, and you're going to laugh. <laughs> well, we will start going over our ingredients. Here, Here is some go. gelatin. Here is some not gelatin. Oh, let me move our bowls and stuff out of the way. Yes, so like Derek said, we have three packets of gelatin here. This is two cups of cannabis granulated sugar. We made granulated sugar maybe a month or two ago. With Everclear. With Everclear. And I've actually already linked the video for that recipe in the description section. But go check it out. <laughs> go check it out. Go check it out. Here we also have two thirds cups of light corn syrup, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I also have one cup of water total, but I've divided it into half cup and half cup because we're putting them in two separate bowls. Have you cooked anything with this uh, cannabis sugar yet? Have I cooked anything with this cannabis sugar? Like I just feel like that's an awful lot. Well, for this recipe, I'm considering one marshmallow to be one serving. But I guess if we're considering more marshmallows to be one serving, then yes, this is an awful lot of sugar. Because I've tasted this cannabis sugar, and I would say that like one tablespoon is a pretty good serving size. It's not as potent as the cannabis butter. Do you want, not want to use all of this? No, it's sugar? fine. I'm just, I'm just curious, like if you've like if you've tested it. I have tested it just by itself, mixed into tea. That's how I've tested this cannabis sugar and the strength of it. Cause you know, like I don't like being an edible test dummy. Well, if you're concerned about the strength of it, we can no, use less. No, no, let's sugar. use the same amount because there's nothing better to do during a quarantine when there's nothing left in the fridge except to get high and forget about life. Yeah, good point. That's pretty much where we are. 
right now. <laughs> um, Legalize NJ says weedios because we're talking about spaghettios. But that also that makes that reminds me of like Wheaties. Like Wheaties. How many of you have applied for unemployment? And then how many of you have received unemployment benefits? How many of you have applied for the SBA, uh, whatever, or the PPP, uh, what is it, paycheck protection policy? Oh, I don't know. Anybody, anybody applying for these things? Tell me, tell me which, what's happening on the internet. All right, we can continue. Okay, we can continue. So first things first, we have a big bowl. This is what we are going to mix our marshmallows in. And in this bowl, that's good dancing. In this bowl, can you pour in half a cup of water? Is this water here? Yeah. So I already measured this. That's half a cup of water. Currently pouring. I urine also in picture in picture. They can see you. Okay. And then I'm going to add my three packets of gelatin to bloom. This is what they call it. To bloom. To bloom. To bloom. And then can you take the spatula and just kind of mix it up a little bit? Sure. Mix, 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 And then... Mix, 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 mix. Yeah, we just want it all to be moistened. Ooh, it smells nasty. I know, it smells like gelatin. Gelatin smells kind of funky. Is this cookable gelatin? Is this the gelatin you cook with, or is this gelatin that you just like what gelatin put in toys? What do you cook with? What? what? There's edible gelatin and there's not edible gelatin. This is edible gelatin. It doesn't smell like it. That's also a lot of gelatin concentrated. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. That's we just want to yeah. We just want to moisten moisten the gelatin. So I'm gonna set this aside, and then I also have my <coughs> hot plate set up with a small saucepan, or I guess medium-sized saucepan. Uh, let's go. Mike Finney's applied, had friends that have applied. This way. That seems good. Yeah, Mike Finney says, still working for now, luckily, but I have several friends who have applied. Oh, Keeson's here. Keeson says, leaves, winky face. Okay, leaves. Um, but yes, I have my hot plate here with a medium-sized saucepan, and I already have my candy thermometer in here, and I just put a little binder clip because it doesn't stay up straight if I don't do that. So there's a fun little DIY life hack. hack. Till it melts and drips onto the table. Till it melts and drips. It's not gonna melt and drip on the table. <laughs> so I'm gonna set this to medium heat, and then can you add our other half cup of water? <laughs> yep. I'm gonna add our half cup of water, our sugar. Wouldn't you normally wait for that to get he heated before you? dumped it all because mm. now you can have a potential burning no it's okay it'll be fine our corn syrup whoa you just keep that on hand corn syrup yeah, yeah. i have corn syrup so many things we could make what do you why we haven't corn made syrup? sour gummies yet like oh you know what i did buy the stuff to make sour gummies but we never made them like the acid um, stuff yeah citric acid Ooh, I, want some I forgot that. to get a spoon just to, this spoon. You want your spoon? Yeah. What type of spoon? Just any spoon to just scrape the, the stuff out of this out of this bowl. Just a spoon full of And then while we're waiting for that, I'm also gonna medicine add go oops, my salt in here. Ooh, the medicine here. go down, just a spoon full of and, Oh thank you. Don't worry, salt, I got you. <laughs> and we're gonna wait to add our vanilla extract until you go. later. Legalized New Jersey says he loves gummies. I'm just assuming it's New Jersey. Yeah, probably. And Nothing like a good dinner in Hoboken. <laughs> a good dinner out there in good old Hoboken. So once we've added all of our, we've added all our, our ingredients into the saucepan and we actually don't need to stir it because if you stir it, it'll start crystallizing, which is what you don't want to do. So this is a very easy hands-off type of recipe, but it will take a while because we are going to heat this to 240 degrees, which is called the softball stage. Um, and Polish Saitama 93 says, are you guys sober or high? My man is probably high. 
Uh, we're currently sober. Derek just. I don't I'm know trying why to look at a location. I was. I did a show in 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 New Jersey. Oh, okay. I'm trying to remember where it was. Uh, New that's like how what I think about New Jersey is the show I did there. I can't remember where it was. Well, that sounds like some good memories. Yeah, I was probably not sober for that. Okay. So, we're just going to let this heat up to 240 degrees without stirring it. And keep an eye on your candy thermometer because you don't want to go over 240 degrees or we won't have nice fluffy marshmallows. But this hot plate also takes a really long time to heat up. So, we're, we're in for a little wait. A little weighty wait. We're going to wait. We're gonna wait. And we're gonna dance. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Hey, hey, 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 we're gonna wait. Hey, hey. Barry Johnson's here! Hey, Barry Johnson! Guys, Barry Johnson's one of my new patrons. And Julian Santiago says, you guys only using edibles during quarantine. Yes. Uh, we have no green, yes. unfortunately. There are places that deliver and a lot of dispensaries in Los Angeles are open. But we have been really good about not going out. And we got a MedMen 20% off though over there we that's burning a hole in our pocket. Off. Do we have a referral code that we can give people and if they buy using our code, then we'll get money? Do you need that MedMen? Uh, do you Let need us that MedMen? I don't know actually. Um, hey Barry, and then Legalize and Jay says, hope you come back one day. He's talking about me going to New Jersey. Yeah, for your show. Well, for the near future, it seems like all shows are canceled. What kind of show were you doing in New Jersey, and when was it? Uh, the New Jersey one was probably like 2012. Ooh, that's a long time ago. It was a long time. I'm getting old. And uh, <laughs> I was, uh, it was a mixture of comedy and also hosting uh, like a music tour. A music tour? What music? What kind of music? Uh, YouTube music. Wow. <laughs> those, those famous YouTubers. That sounds or, like a cool tour. Or, was or, it popular? It was popular. What kind? What musicians were on there? Is that anyone I would have heard of? Uh, have you heard of Auto Tune the News? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because you've met them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we pretending that we don't know each other? Or are we pretending okay. that we do? Yeah, there is a group called Auto Tune the News. Okay, they, I don't know who that is. They, Who's that? They had a song like the bed intruder song it was like the clown in your window snatch your children up trying to rape them so you need to hide your kids hide your wives hide your kids hide your wives and hide all whatever that then, sounds like a scary song uh, there was uh there was a guy named daystorm power that name sounds familiar uh, yeah he was a popular vine star okay uh there was a, a group anymore. called epic rap battles of history i've heard of them actually uh, no before we met i hadn't heard of them either uh <laughs> There was a guy named Dave Days. Dave Days. Uh, there's more. I don't know. All right, cool. Well, uh, Christina Grimmy. I never heard of her. That's a dark one. Yeah, she got she, dead now? she got murdered at her show doing an autograph signing. That's really sad. Yeah, in and front of her entire family. Uh, I think at the time she was like 17 or 18, maybe. Yikes. That's really sad. By a, a guy who was in love with her, and he didn't want anyone else to have her, so he... This That's got usually let's... how these celebrities get... Yeah, anyway, let's change the subject. We have got some people coming in. Chris West, welcome! Asked what we were making, and then said, oh, marshmallows, never mind. Yes, we're making one, two, three... Marshmallows! marshmallows! And, uh, I, guys, I made this marshmallow peeps... Well, I guess this is bunny peeps... T-shirt in celebration... Uh, we're just going to make square-shaped marshmallows. Uh, we can cut them with cookie cutters if you want. Or if you... We want... I want to pipe it in you the really shape of pipe dick it? and balls. But we could do that. That is a possibility. We could pipe it. I've already prepared yeah, that's all right. the baking sheet. I guess we can talk about this while we're waiting for this to heat up. So here I have a... Oh, he stopped. Okay. What did I 
just put the picture in picture. <laughs> so this is a 9x13 baking pan that I've lined with parchment paper. Um, I just take a big rectangle and I cut the corners so it'll fit inside. Some people like to do two sheets, like one across this way, one across this way, but I feel like that's a waste of parchment paper. Uh, Barry says you're like the Martha Stewart or Julia Childs of edibles and savory meals. Can we That's pretend? Awesome. Can we pretend that you're Julia Childs? Do the voice. Oh. You ready? Hello, welcome to Cooking with Julia. Today we're making marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a big woman. She was a very large woman. <laughs> it's, this is true. All right, look, guys, we have heating well, stuff. Uh, this is warm. I don't. Can you guys see? Can it's you? steaming. It's steaming. You guys can see Steam. that the uh, sugar is pretty much dissolved in here. And we're just going to keep an eye on the thermometer to make sure we don't go over. Derek is going to use the camera to, to zoom in here. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. Those are the best. Um, is that the shot you had? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. So we're just gonna let this go. If you you don't want to stir it here because if you stir it, then it'll cause the sugar to crystallize, and we want it to be all melted together. All it, melted together. It's interesting to see like how the hot plate is only hot over here and not over here. Um, well, why don't you turn around? Legalize NJ says LOL. Barry Jones says emoji face perfect. And Mike Finney says ha 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 ha. Ha ha! I think they really liked our impression of oh, Julia, Julia Childs. Childs. Yeah. So we're only about at 2.15 ish. So we still got a ways to go. My well, candy. Why turn it backwards though, is what I'm saying. What? This way? So, so that side gets heated at one point. Okay. Yeah, like that. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it is like heating, but then I can't see the thermometer. It's getting real it's hot. It's getting really hot. It's getting real hot. We want it to be too. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. See, this is why I didn't want to turn it that much. I'll give you a play by play. Lauren, she grabs the, the makeshift pin from the heat temperature gauge. Oh, I can't. She burnt her finger. You're... Now she's struggling to figure out how to reattach the gauge. Yeah, you're being annoying She's now. having issues with the gauge. We're all waiting. She's working to figure it out. She cannot get it done right now. Oh, look at that. A perfect dismount okay, almost. I'm going to move this back. Because almost really a perfect dismount. On. She goes back in again. She's looking at the temperature gauge. It's all fogged up. What will she do? What will she do? That's what the audience is wondering. Is there a good stick? No. No. Not. A failure to stick yet again. Oh no. Oh no. She's got to recoup on her end of the field. Now she reconnects. Did it work? No, it did not. Can you stop. Sorry, I was just oh trying God. to make this entertaining for these people, you know? You can only make clipping thermometers to a pan so exciting. You're right. You're right. Sorry, guys. This is just... I'm just going to have to hold it because I couldn't get it. As Derek so kindly announced that I couldn't Here, get I'll it do it. Attached. I'll do it. Don't worry. I got this. Going in for the perfect dismount. You also want to be sure that your candy thermometer isn't touching the bottom of the pan because then it'll change the reading of the temperature. You get it? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's so much better. So we're just keeping an eye on our on our thermometer, and then I'm gonna put this back on the side over here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh -huh. So our we have our gelatin ready. If you want to see what it looks like, it's like it's like really hard now and like very rubbery which is kind of hilarious look at that oh this is how they make dildos same type of gelatin that's gross i actually really hate like this looks disgusting to me i hate jello that texture i think is just so gross um barry johnson says take your time thank you barry um uh, all right we're
we're still still waiting for the temperature to go up. How's everybody's flashlights doing over this quarantine? People's flashlights surviving? You got good flashlights? Where's mine? In the cabinet somewhere. Uh. Barry Johnson says, unsweetened gelatin. Yes, this is unsweetened gelatin. And legalized NJ is laughing. Ha ha! Anybody else uh, order a Nintendo Switch? Oh, apparently this Nintendo Switch thing is so popular. Everyone wants to play Animal Crossing. Winter Days is here. Oh my gosh, she's too loud. Please stop so we can hear her. Nah! You heard the man. All right, we are still creeping up slowly on the temperature. If you want to see what it looks like, it's it's all bubbling up there. Um, and yeah, we just have to be patient and wait for the temperature to get up to where we want it to be. And this gelatin, I actually was lucky that I already had when I made my my CBD gummies episode. So if I remember, I'll put a link for that in the description section. And yeah, this sugar was from a cannabis tincture and sugar episode that I did that's already linked in the description section. And... Can you else? perform a monologue for us? Well, no. Lauren has prepared a monologue and she is going to do a reading now. The floor is yours. Uh, well, I guess everything that I do here is me talking by myself to people who aren't really talking back to me. So this whole thing is a monologue. Scene. Now Derek has prepared a monologue and he's going to perform The Floor Is Yours. It was April. It was raining outside. Beads of sweat were on my head. I cried three tears for the dog whose anal gland had ruptured. There was blood everywhere. I had to clean on my hands and knees. It was gross. I vomited twice. Now I do not know if I should kill myself or not. End scene. Thank you. Thank you. He's not Thank even you. a professional actor, Not folks. at all. Not at all. Not at all. Can you believe that? Uh, Mike Finney says, but Derek is the comic relief. Ha, face. Yeah. Because apparently Mike Finney doesn't think that I'm very funny. You're not. Thanks. No problem. Yeah. But you'd be a good stand-up. Why? Because you're a proficient writer. Because I'm a proficient writer. That's not the only thing that it takes That's pretty much all it takes. You can, you can do it as an actor. It you have to be, be able to perform well. You can perform well. I don't think that... I'm a proficient writer at writing jokes. If I'm not a funny it's person, about, then how can I write It's not about jokes? writing It's not always about writing jokes. No, what's it about It's writing? about finding, like, everyday things that people can relate to and then just kind of putting a twist on it, but it's also real, you know? Mm, that's true. Tell it like it is. Barry Johnson says, I'm going to make a THC version of your CBD gummies and I'll keep you updated. Yes, Hell Barry. Hell yeah, Barry. Please do. I love it when people make my recipes and then post a picture and tag me or send me a picture. And She'll repost it. And I will. I will repost it. Barry's going to get fucking crunk, motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> Remember last week when you're like, can we curse on this show? Oh, yeah. Can we curse on this show? I mean, I guess so. It it's is a cannabis show. It is a cannabis show. Um, That's some hood shit, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Remember when you rapped Biggie? Yeah. See, that's that's how I know I can cuss, because you're a Biggie rapper. Well, I didn't cuss when I rapped. You could have. I could have. So not there yet? It's not there yet. Um, this does take a while, but I am turning up the temperature on my hot plate to medium high. Usually medium is good, but this hot plate is, well, it's a hot plate, so it does take a long time to get heated up, and it doesn't get as hot as, well, some firewood. So, we're still waiting. Right now, we are about at, uh... Did you say firewood? Fire. Wood. Wood. W-O-U-L-D. Not wood. Not wood. Firewood. Firewood. Yeah, we're out back making a fire. We, we cannot do a fire out back. This is a huge, 
wildfire zone that it's we live in. It's been raining so much. It has been raining a lot, but it's not raining right now, which is nice. We're creeping. We're getting close. We're creeping. We're at about we're 2 30. We want it to be 2 40. Here's what it looks like right now. It looks kind of the same as it did before. You can just see a nice bubbling mixture that looks like goo. A greenish hued goo. Y'all want to see something funny? What? Watch Lauren try to snap. Oh, I can't snap very well. I also can't whistle. Snap and whistle at the same time. <laughs> okay, I want to keep an eye on this now because we're actually getting really, really close to 240. And I'm going to take this spatula out and we're going to get our mixer ready. We, you can get marsh, successful marshmallows with a hand mixer. I would recommend using a stand mixer, but I, even though I own a stand mixer, I like to use my hand mixer on the show because I can use a glass bowl and you guys can see what I'm doing versus if I use this stand mixer. Did that make sense? What was I saying? I you said a mixer did a mixer and then the mixer did the mixer. Yep, that's what I said. So it'll just take longer to whip your marshmallows up if you use a hand mixer versus a stand mixer. And... I mean, it'll still work. We're just gonna have to be more patient. You ever thought about putting the uh, the ingredients and stuff on screen? Like during my live stream? Yeah, like like right Barry now. Barry Johnson like, can't whistle either. Thank you, Barry. If you just like queued up some graphics and then you did like, I don't know, you could do, even do these like. Wait, why did why you, the, well, you if, do like? If that? I had someone to help me Ooh. to do that. Whoa, look at that transition. That was pretty fancy. Yeah, you could cue it up on like a... Uh, okay, we are almost there. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully... Oh, we'll just wait till that makes it there. We're almost there. And then when we're done, we are going to add it to our bowl. So I'm gonna have to move this aside so you all can see what's going on. What else? Do you guys, can you see? Can you see what's going on? It's bubbling up. Bubbly, bubbling, bubbly, bubbling, bubbly, bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. We are so close. We're so close to 240. Polish Saitama93 says, getting late here. Good luck, guys, and bon appetit. I'll watch the rest next time. Next Where Friday, are you? same time. Where are you located? It sounds like Poland. Oh, that makes sense. That would make sense. Ooh, almost there. Almost there. So, uh, as soon as we are done, we are going to turn off the heat and remove it from the heat. I'm actually going to use this wooden cutting board because the bowl is going to get hot. Boom! We made it. So, I'm going to set move this aside. And then I got pour. And then you're going to pour in a slow stream. Can you manage that? Yeah, I can do slow. You can take this off. I'm always slow. Slow so stream. pour in a slow stream, and I'm gonna mix it in right at now? low speed. Yeah. Is that slow enough? Yeah. Oh, you you dip the mixer in it. What? You put the mixer in the oh. bowl. Okay. Well, move over to the side. I'm trying to get it in there. Is that slow? Yeah. Thank you. So you're just slowly, slowly mixing this in. Take care of yourself. Oh, Polish Maybe. St. Thomas is Poland. Yes, take care, guys. All right, you can use the spatula to scoop it all in there if you want, but it looks like you pretty much got it in all. I don't think I can get in there with your body. Beep, 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 beep. I can show you the world. All right, so now, so we slowly added in our sugar mixture and now I'm gonna turn my mixer up to high speed and we're gonna whip it until it fluffs up and looks like marshmallow cream. Whip it good. Why is this going? Oh, because you have this weird transition thing on. I don't, it's Just like trying to transition. I 
fucked it up. You fucked it up. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Wait. Barry says teamwork makes the freak work. There it is. But he means dream, lol. I like, <laughs> I like teamwork makes the freak work. Lord the fucking freak. Am I? Lord the fucking so. freak. Okay. Like she eats caterpillar cocoons before they become butterflies. A fucking freak, I tell ya. Who does that? You do. He's lying. I don't do that. are you guys doing during the quarantine? We asked about Nintendo Switch, but nobody said anything. Yeah, if we put a Nintendo Switch on Lauren's wish list, would one of you guys uh, so kindly purchase it? Because our unemployment check hasn't come in. Uh, but apparently people are like going to Target hours before they open to wait in line Someone just to that. buy a Nintendo Switch. What do Someone we did. We put the vanilla in at the very end. So we're not gonna put the vanilla extract in until the very end because the mixture is still too hot and the vanilla extract will actually evaporate. So it's starting to whip up. Whippity 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 woo. Whippity 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 woo. It's not as light as the other one. Well, because the other one I use regular sugar. So if you were a normal guest on my show, this is what I would ask you what you've been up to. But since we've been quarantined together for like two months. I can tell you. Like I can months. tell you. Okay. I've been building a boat. Oh yeah, Derek's been building a boat in the garage. What kind of boat? It's a 16 foot conga. Sounds huge. It's not that bad. What are you going to do with that boat? Uh, you know, drop, drop bodies. Drop bodies where? In the ocean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you make sure the body doesn't float? Uh, concrete. You like actually, to fill the body actually, with concrete? actually, you could just like uh, you can just like cut the chest so the gases have a place to escape. Okay. Barry Johnson says, "Really, never had a switch. Those are still popular." Barry, yes, everyone is obsessed with this game right now called Animal Crossing, and it's, it's on all the rage. Switch. Can we? This is still really hot. That's why that's starting to. Yeah, it's all the rage. Like, people are going to buy Nintendo Switches just so they can play Animal Crossing. I've never played it. Like, I don't know what all the fuss is about. I think you could just, like, do this. Okay. It's like, the hole is always so exciting. You're right. Sometimes it's hard for me to do this and control everything, you know? So you thank you for close, being you know? Thank you for being here to help me. I'm a producer. What can I say? We all got producer. I just ate corn syrup off the table and it wasn't as sweet as I thought it would be. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe, how do we donate to the Switch? You can just buy it and have it delivered here. <laughs> my Finny is so good about donating on my live streams. Uh, I actually don't know if there's, is there like a link on the live stream that's like, how do you donate money to the live stream? Uh, I don't know, but they're two hundred and ninety nine dollars, but they're on really? Amazon by a third party distributor because they're so sold out. They're actually four ninety nine on Amazon. Damn! 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 That's a lot. I know, and it's probably like, would you play it? We can play Mario Party. Oh my god, I love Mario Party. Mario can we? Pa yeah. How? If you get the Switch. Oh my god! No, I don't want to get the Switch. It's only on the Switch. It's a Nintendo product. Okay, well, I guess I need $499 to get it on Amazon Yep. from a third-party seller. So, guys, just a little just a little check-in so you can see that it's fluffing up nicely. We still have a little ways to go. We want it to be nice and thick but still pourable, if that makes sense. This looks like a, what's that, fluffer nutter in a jar? Marshmallow cream. Yeah, that's stuff looks like so that. No, that is kind of exactly what it is. It's marshmallow cream. What's that thing that people when people would put like peanut butter? The fluffer nutter. The fluffer nutter. Yeah, I think fluffer nutters are so good. So I'm just yeah. gonna show you what the texture looks like right now. So creamy. we want it to be a little bit slower on the so on the drip. Creamy. 
What? How do you, why do you make everything so sexual sounding? I don't. Do you think that was sexual sounding? Yep. Okay. Well, tell us more about your boat. How are you building this boat? Oh, you know, just simple wood. Just carving it out of a tree trunk. That's impressive. Yeah. Where did you get a tree trunk to carve? Oh, I cut down the neighbor's eucalyptus tree. Is eucalyptus a good wood to make a boat out of? No. Why not? Because it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a hard wood, and it, it just, it's very porous. What kind of wood should boats be made out of? Oh, you know, like a nice, uh, a nice hard, like a maple, or, but that's hard to work with, so like maybe an oak. Okay. Oak would be good, that's like a pretty soft too, though. Okay. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> What, are, what kind of wood are you making your boat out of? Just regular old construction grade lumber. Is that good for making boats? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a construction grade lumber, and then it's going to be uh, it's going to be wrapped in ply and marine ply, okay. and then we're gonna and then we're gonna put fiberglass on it with epoxy, okay. and it's going to be a fiberglass uh, boat. All right, so. Here is with a with a plywood quarry. A little update. We want it still a little bit thicker. Oh, so creamy. We do want it to be like the consistency of marsh. Actually, marshmallow cream still isn't pourable. We want it to still be. I'll show you. I'll show you guys what the texture. She will show you. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> now, how do you know how to make a bow? Oh, you know. I hit my head, and the knowledge just came in there. You hit your head, and the knowledge came in there. Yeah. Well, how? What other things do you know in that way? Oh, ow. Did knowledge come in there? I lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are times where like people have had head injuries and have been able to like speak fluent languages after, or like brain surgeries, and afterwards were able to like play the piano. That's you know, cool. Play. How does that work? Do they know like biologically how that works? No. There are also people that get uh, like organ transplants, and then after that, they start uh, liking a certain food that they never liked before, or liking certain music, or like being able to, because they say that uh, parts of the person that they got in them suddenly. It would be really bad if the organ you got was from like a heroin addict. Yeah, that would be you know, really bad. You just had a, a I don't think that heroin. heroin addicts can donate organs. Yeah, but what if they don't know? That's true. So this is looking pretty good. So oh, we've got like so a nice creamy. slow drip, which is perfect. I'm just going to clean my mixer blades off. Can I lick them? Sure. Can I give you guys a general consensus without vanilla, what these taste like? Oh yeah, the vanilla! Oh my god, I forgot. I told you. So now is the time. Thank you, Derek, for reminding me. Now is the time to add the vanilla. You want to add it in at the end of the mixing. Have you ever just taken a shot of vanilla? Mm, no, I haven't. So you go ahead and... What it tastes like? Um, it's alcohol usually made with... Right? Yeah. yeah Slow pour? No, just dump it in there. Boop. Can I just try it? Doesn't taste good. Yeah. Also not sweet at all. And we're back. And we're back. So. I think it needs a little bit more mixing in there. Oh, there's splashes in the way. I don't want to over mix. All right. I think no, no. it's fine. All right. All right. Well, you said to mix it more. You're the boss here. You're the expert. El jefe. Okay. Here you go. I'll be the judge of this. Ooh, it's all over my fingers now. So we're going to set this aside. Oh, that tastes like wheat. <laughs> and I'm going to get my prepared baking sheet. And then in this bowl here, hold on. In this bowl, I have already mixed one third cup of 
cornstarch and one, hang on, there's my picture in picture. So in this bowl, wait, this way, this way, I like to have it centered, I like to have it centered, okay. In this bowl I already have one third cup of cornstarch and one third cup of powdered sugar and I'm just gonna loosely mix it together. And then here I have my prepared baking tray, nine by 13. If you wanted to have taller marshmallows, you could do a smaller pan, like a nine by nine. Um, this is the point, if you wanted to pipe your marshmallows out, we would put this marshmallow cream mixture in a piping bag. Um, but we're just gonna do it in the tray today. And I am actually going to, so you can grease your pan. Yeah, we want that to sit in there. You get in the motherfucker. You want it to be really well oiled if you're not using parchment paper. Get in the motherfucker. Because mother. the marshmallow mixture is sticky. Uh oh, there's a hole. Okay. There's a who. Aha. A who do you ha? Okay. And then we are gonna dust this really well with our cornstarch and powdered sugar mixture. Dust it real well. Dust it really well. Oh, yeah. Because this is going to help oh, yeah. prevent it from sticking. You could also oil the parchment paper if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if the parchment paper by itself would be non-stick enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you the Kool-Aid man? Oh, yeah. He for sure would have been shot. For jumping into people's houses through the wall? Yeah. Probably. I mean, he was also like a big, scary Kool-Aid monster. It's kind of terrifying, isn't it? Mm. Puff, puff, cloud, cloud, racist symbol. The OK symbol is racist now. Keenan, so, I told you before. I have just a beautiful coating of the mixture here. A dusting. A dusting. And then this is the spatula that we were using before, and I'm actually going to spritz a little bit of oil on it so it doesn't stick to the spatula. And I'm just going to use my finger to, to smear it on. Pap smear it. To pap smear it. And then we're gonna pour our marshmallows in our pan. Slow pour? Uh, or all pour? All pour, all pour. All pouring. All pouring. You do wanna try to like move it around? Yeah. Guys, it really helps when you cook if you just add a voice effect for everything. <laughs> Trust me. Sound effects do make everything better. I can't really see if what's left. This is this is good teamwork here. Teamwork. It makes the freak work. <laughs> All right. Is wheat legal in Poland? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where wheat is legal everywhere yet. Guys, even though I did oil my spatula, it's still sticking. And then I'm going to take... Here, let's move over here. I'm going to take the spatula and kind of spread it into an even layer into my pan. You can also take, <laughs> do you want a spoon? You can also take the pan and kind of drop it on the table a little bit to kind of let it even out. That's not working as much. There's a lot in there actually. Uh, okay, you want me to try to scoop it out more? It's hard to get it all out. I know. Because it's really sticky. sticky really sticky icky. 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 No, I was going to clean my room, but then I got high. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to... Um, Mike Finney says, why not yellow color like Peeps? Well, Mike Finney, Peeps, Peeps are, are actually white on the inside. 
and then the outsides are covered with colored sugar, which you could do instead of using this powdered sugar cornstarch mixture, you could use colored granulated sugar, either that you buy from the store or you make yourself a food coloring. Um, but Derek thinks that peeps are gross, so we're not making peeps. So I'm just trying to spread it kind of into an even layer. Cold fortified from two zigzags, baby that's all we need. We can go to the park after dark, smoke that tumbleweed. After marijuana burns, we can take our turns, okay, singing you know dirty all rap way. songs. Stop and hit the bong like Cheech and Chong, be half from here to Hong Kong. So roll, roll from 83, Cadillac Coupe de Ville. If my tapes and my CDs just don't sell, I hope my caddy will. Again? Yeah, I'm done now. Okay, so now we have to let this <clears throat> set, which is going to take at least four hours, but I would recommend letting it set overnight. If you, my pan comes with this nice little lid. You can leave it uncovered, but then I feel like a bug or something might land in it. But I would loosely cover it either with like a lid like this, or if you're, you can, um, you can put another sheet of parchment paper or even saran wrap. If the, if whatever you're going to cover your pan with is going to touch the marshmallow mixture, you either want to grease it or we're going to take this mixture and we're going to also dust the top here. Pop, 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 pop. They can't they get the idea. They get but the you idea. guys get the idea. So, because. Watch how you're dusting the, the mixer. Sorry. So because this takes such a long time to set, dun dun da Wow! Wow! Another one! I made another one! My hand is Very uh, DJ Khaled of ourselves. How is that DJ Khaled? Another one! Is that what he says? Yeah. Okay. So we are going to dump this out onto this cutting board that I've already also Can dusted. I just put it in the sink? Yeah, I've already also dusted this with cornstarch and powdered sugar. So I'm going. Oh, there it goes. Everyone. I'm going to put this just on top and flip it, and it should slide out. Flip it and tip it and tick it. Watch it not keep its shape. How funny would that be? That would be pretty funny. And then. Don't be getting that button sticky. Sorry. I'm just telling you, you'd be buying me another. Okay. Hopefully this comes off. Watch it stick. Here we go. All right. And that's how you make Look crack cocaine. So from here, I have a knife ready and we're gonna cut it into squares, but you could also use a cookie cutter shape or cut it into whatever shape that you want. If you were doing the piping, like we had mentioned before, you would put it in your piping bag, but you would have to wait till it firms up a little bit because whatever shape you're gonna pipe it out into, you want it to hold. So you kind of have to wait for that marshmallow to set up. Um, do you wanna do the cutting? I'm gonna spritz my knife also with some no, oil. you can do the cutting. Okay. I'm just thinking about Rocket League. Do you want to just go play Rocket League? No. Okay. Just thinking about it. What are you thinking about about it? Pass, pass, shoot. Pass, pass, shoot? Yeah. Is that your your? That's my, my technique? key play. Pass, pass, your key shoot. Your play? So I am going to also just dust this knife a little bit. I feel like there's just gonna be too much cornstarch everywhere. You know, there's part of sugar in it. And then I'm gonna cut it into squares. You can cut it into rectangles. You can cut it into whatever shape is, you is, want. Wait, is this, is this the size? The... Yeah, but is this the size that's gonna be the marijuana ones? Yeah, they're gonna be the same size. They're gonna be small. I know. They're they're about one inch squares. I've already eaten more than that. Have you? Yeah. And then these are, can you do the picture in picture? So these are gonna be, <laughs> these are gonna be sticky on the inside. So all the sides you want to be coated with the mixture. I actually have another bowl here and then I'm gonna cut these and put them in here and mix it all with the powder mixture. I'm 
surprised you know all the words. You usually don't know all the words to songs. Oh, when it's Afro Man, you gotta know the words. <laughs> You guys can see them very well. I'm just gonna plop them into this bowl and you can kind of sprinkle on some sugar, mix them around. You want all the sides to be covered because this side is still pretty sticky, the insides. What are you looking at? I, uh... So I'm just gonna put them in there and kind of Toss them around a little bit with my powdered sugar and cornstarch mixture. I was making the picture and picture bigger. Oh, because I just want all these sides to be covered. Do you want to go ahead and try some or do you want me to cut all of them? I'll try one. Should we try them? We can knock off some of the excess. Oh, am I feeding it to you? Yeah, I don't want to get my hands sticky. How is it? You're not saying anything. You see. <laughs> it tastes like a marshmallow. I feel like you can taste the gelatin. Yeah. But remember that I said I was going to up the sugar? So, guys, when I made this recipe yesterday, I made this batch with one and a half cups of sugar. Look what I did there. Oh, cool. That makes it better, I think. Mm -hmm. Then I stand over here, and then we got it. So yesterday when I made this advanced batch, when I pre-made this batch, I made the recipe with one and a half cups of sugar instead of two cups of sugar. And when I tried the leftover marshmallow cream in the bowl, like Derek said, I felt like you could taste the gelatin kind of taste, which is why today's recipe, I upped the sugar to two cups of sugar instead of one and a half. We're going to get so high. <laughs> We're just going to get so well, high. Well, you can have one regular marshmallow and one, one weed marshmallow. But aren't these cool? I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's fun that we made marshmallows. I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting them. The powder's weird. The powder's weird? You could also use all powdered sugar if you wanted to, or you could use all cornstarch if you wanted to. Maybe that's what I'm tasting. Mike Finney says nice special effects. That is all Derek to thank. <coughs> I figured this was a better shot. Yeah. Thank you. We could also put it in the lower corner, like so. Wait, nope, I fucked it. Oh, that's cool. That's a really little picture though. Yeah, I can fix that. So now you guys can see how easy it is to make your own marshmallows. I think that these would be just delicious dipped in chocolate. Like not even in a s'mores, even though I do love s'mores. Just with like a little chocolate dip. What else? Oh, we could put it in hot chocolate. Well, how else do you eat marshmallows? You don't. You don't. I love marshmallows. And then these you can store in an airtight container for up to three weeks. But the longer you store them, they're, they are going to dry out a little bit. Well, does anyone have any fun plans? <laughs> What are we going to do with all this marshmallow? Oh, 
Well, that's why I said next week we'll probably use it in a recipe because we have so much marshmallow. Oh, goddamn marshmallow right here. I used the Lord's name in vain to describe the amount of marshmallow. You never use the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> Since I'm such a religious person, obviously. No. I'm just over here cutting my marshmallows. You should pick one up and just wobble it. Just wobble it at camera. Hey, you guys. <laughs> but this would be fun as shapes too. If you cut, use cookie cutters to cut them in little shapes. Like little Star Davids. Little Star of Davids. Little hearts. Little, bunnies. What's Easter that, bunnies. What's that cracker called? What cracker? The Jewish cracker. M ma 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 Matzah. Is that what it's called? Matzah. The unrisen bread. Yeah. You could cut it in that shape. That's just like square shaped. Yep. <laughs> this is matzah marshmallows, everybody. I did order, we ordered Fresh Brothers pizza the other day. If you don't have Fresh Brothers where you are, it's... It's just a pizza it's chain. It's a pizza chain, but they're kind of known healthier. for... Yeah, ha having healthier ingredients. And they have vegan options and uh, gluten-free gluten -free options. options. And they... Also, we're offering a matzo bread pizza for Passover, and I just wanted to try it just because. So she ate the matzo. So I ate a matzo ball, not a matzo ball, I ate a matzo crust pizza. L'chaim! L'chaim. Happy Passover, guys. Happy Easter. Happy... He has risen. Oh. I know, they're doing a, um, the Pope is doing a live stream for Easter. Did you hear about that? Nope, I don't follow Catholic news. Neither do I. They said it on the Google morning radio news. Our Google Home, when you say, hey, Google, good morning, it'll talk, tell you the top news stories of the day. Well, this is about it. Oh, you know what, babe? What, I forgot babe? to redo the camera. The Canon. I mean, the Sony. Well, at least you got a live stream of it. Yeah. We always keep, for one of our cameras, it automatically cuts off in the recording and we keep forgetting to return it on. So that's why when I post just the instructional, instructional, when I post just the instructions of this video later, sometimes the quality of that video is not as good. It's because this camera cut off. Um, but yes, you guys, I will shorten this video into just the instructions so you can see exactly how we made it and you don't have to hear whatever other random things we were talking about. I think that's what makes it. I, well, that's why we do it both. That's why I we do it both ways. I got sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside I've got the month of May I guess you say what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, my girl. Talk about my girl, my girl. My girl. Ooh. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like this video and share it with all of your friends. And check out our social media and my Patreon page. There are links in the description section below. And what else do we say at the end of videos? If you want to buy a yacht, holler. If you want to buy a yacht, holler. When I was asking Derek what he... Shh. You just said. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> guys, I hope you are staying healthy and well and staying inside. What are we... What do they call it? Sheltering in place? Stay at home. Stay home. I don't know, because I do know that not all places have a mandatory stay at home. Oh, well, Legalize NJ comes back! Legalize NJ, be safe. Thank you, you too, guys. Uh, happy Passover, happy Easter, and. Get crunk. Get crunk. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye 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 bye! -bye.